There are numerous major narrative twists in Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery, one of which involves Jane Elmani's Andy Brand and is crucial to the entire storyline. In many respects, Glass Onion builds upon its predecessor, with Daniel Craig's Benoit Blanc being thrown into yet another murder case amidst an oddball cast of individuals. The twists and turns in Glass Onion, like the original Knives Out mystery, keep viewers wondering throughout, but one surprise revealed in the sequel alters the perspective of the whole movie. It is revealed exactly halfway through Glass Onion that Andy is actually Helen, Andy's twin sister, and that Andy was actually discovered dead a few days earlier. After this twist, the first half of the film is completely different, and subsequent viewings will probably reveal that what was initially believed to be Andy was actually Helen. To keep viewers on the edge about the cast, characters, and plot of Glass Onion, a twist was added. At first glance, it could appear that Benoit Blanc's task in the follow-up is to identify Duke Cody's killer. The huge surprise in the film, however, alters everything when Andy's death is disclosed after the fact and Helen is added so that she may assist Blanc in finding Andy's killer. What Miles' alpha plan was and why he killed Andy Benoit Blanc and Helen Brand eventually come to the conclusion that Miles Braun was to blame for Andy's and later Duke's deaths. But Miles's assassination of Andy is what sparks Glass Onion's narrative and gives him the inspiration to kill Duke, raising the issue of why he killed his former business partner. Andy and Miles' previous relationship served as the inspiration for her murder. Together, Andy and Miles formed Alpha Industries. However, after Andy refused to support Miles' desire to release Clear, a flammable hydrogen-based alternative fuel source, Miles fired her from the firm. Miles skillfully portrayed by former Hulk actor Edward Norton achieved this by fabricating a napkin on which Andy had previously jotted down the ideas for the founding of Alpha Industries, and by pressuring Andy's and his friends to discredit her by using his wealth to advance their individual careers. The original napkin, on the other hand, had Andy's own writing and thoughts on it, which she subsequently discovered and used to threaten Miles and the others. Then Miles killed Andy to prevent her from leaking the information and regaining control of the business. Miles did this despite the fact that Clear had not been shown to be safe for home use in order to increase his wealth. Hints for the Helen as Andy twist in Glass Honey the major revelation in the Knives Out sequel was really hinted to in a number of subtle ways during the first half of the film, referring to the significance of the title Glass Onion. The first shows how much Andy and Miles have drifted apart since their argument. Since Andy would not have come if she were still living, her being at the vacation really serves as a hint that it is Helen who is there. On the boat voyage to Miles Island, Helen, acting as Andy, avoids making eye contact with anyone, which is later revealed to have been on Benoit Blanc's instruction. With the exception of her outbursts, at the other characters, Andy doesn't actually talk much in the first half of Glass Onion. This is a further indicator because the movie eventually makes it clear that Helen had unwittingly overindulged. This is also alluded to before to the disclosure when Andy is shown returning to her room while staggering and falling due to intoxication. She and Blanc also had an unheard dialogue in the scene right before the major glass onion surprise is revealed. This is also a hint because the movie's non-linear storytelling subsequently makes this dialogue clear. Why did Helen have to be the one to kill Miles? Helen eventually brings Miles down at the end of Glass Onion after Blanc reveals his killings for both thematic and logical grounds. Regarding the latter, Miles arranges for all of Blanc's evidence to physically and symbolically burn up, rendering it impossible to bring charges against him. As a result, Helen receives a sample of clear from Blanc, which she uses to blow up the Glass Onion and damage Miles' reputation. Thematically, this is particularly effective since Helen eventually exacts justice for her sister's murder. Helen is avenging Andy's termination from the corporation in addition to bringing Miles to justice for killing her sister. In one fell swoop, Helen exposes Miles's treachery, destroys the titular glass onion, reveals Clear to be insanely dangerous, and destroys the Mona Lisa, which Miles borrowed from the Louvre during COVID. All of this ruins his reputation, which brings justice to Andy being wrongfully pushed out of Alpha Industries. The best twist in Glass Onion is the reveal of Andy's twin sister. The plot twist between Andy and Helen proves to be Glass Onion's greatest one despite the film's many others. This is mostly because it sets the sequel apart from other murder mysteries, something that the first Knives Out excelled at doing as well. Even though many of the twists involving Duke's murder were fully anticipated, demonstrating how well-written Glass Onion's script is, they are still nonetheless consistent with murder mystery clichés. However, the twist that reveals Andy to be Helen allows the film to stand out because to writer-director Ryan Johnson's strongest quality version. The audience and the movie characters are equally shocked when Andy's identity as Helen is revealed. The surprise also greatly reframes the first half of Glass Onion through this, providing a beautiful non-linear plot. 
Since of this, watching the film again will make it much more enjoyable because viewers will be able to figure out the main twists hints for themselves. All of this demonstrates the success of the Knives Out series, which was continued in Glass on a Knives Out mystery, hopefully, won't end with Knives Out 3. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and give us a like.